Welcome back. Good job you've made it this far. And you're probably asking yourself, Andre, this has been really good, really informative, but where's the coding? I want to start building some websites. And I know, I know, we'll get there, don't worry. But without even realizing it, you just learned some really, really important fundamental skills and something that will take you very, very far in the career of a web developer because now you know how to improve website performance without a single line of code. And just so you know, we're going to get a little silly here. We're actually going to make sure that you remember these fundamental skills. Every time throughout these lessons, there's going to be chunks and very important lessons. And to symbolize how important they are, I'm going to get Jean-Claude Van Damme's help. So again, this is an important lesson. This is an important fundamental web developer concept. So Jean-Claude Van Damme, how important is it? All right, so as you can see, very important concept. And what is it? Well, like I said, without writing a single line of code, you now know how to improve a website's performance. So let's think about this. There's three things. We send google.com, we talk to Google servers, and we get these files back. So just looking at this and looking at what you've learned so far, what's one thing that would make sure that this process would be fast? Uh, let's look at the first one. I'm going to give you a second to think hopefully you get it. The first one is location of the server. We saw how big the internet backbone is. So if the servers are really, really close to you, let's say you're in the States and the servers are just a couple of kilometers away, that hop is going to be really, really fast versus if it's all the way across the globe. So location of the server is important. And we'll talk about these and how big companies use these to their advantage later on. So that makes sense. Let's look at the next one. So the next one is how many trips. So hopefully, ideally, we just have one trip to the Google servers and Google servers send us all the files that we need back. But as we know, there's new pages, there's searches. So this communication with Google is back and forth, back and forth. And the less trips we have, the faster that we'd be able to get the files. So how many trips and then finally, size of files. Again, if this HTML file or CSS file or JavaScript file is massive and it's 100 megabytes, well, that's going to be a lot slower to transfer over the internet than it is if it was just a couple of kilobytes. So there it is. These three things are something that you'll take with you. And you'll realize that every time you're building an application, a website, you're going to be thinking about these things. And these are going to help you make sure that you have a performant, fast website. And we're going to take these with us as we go on throughout the course. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.